greetings world. Over the last several years, there has been an influx of mass illegal immigration into America. This is not just about people coming to America in search of a better life, but an invasion in order to fundamentally transform the country. Let us be clear, these are not the same immigrants of our grandparents, but rather people who want to take over. After years of being called racists for wanting to stem the tide of illegals entering the country, Donald Trump was elected. Now, has moved quickly doing his best to stop the flood, and his next will make disappear. There is no problem with people wanting to enter America and assimilate to our way of life. However, it is quite another thing to have people come into our country and demand us to bow to them. Which exactly what was happening over the last eight years under the Obama administration. For years, the lunatic left has been allowing droves of illegals to cross out borders and drain our economy, and our jobs. During the campaign, then presidential candidate Donald Trump promised he would build a wall and slash illegal immigration and it looks like he is about to keep both those promises. In an article that was published on Politico, it is clear that Trump is ready to get busy and fulfill one of his biggest campaign promises. Donald Trump and his aides are quietly working with two conservative senators to dramatically scale back legal immigration, a move that would mark a fulfillment of one of the president's biggest campaign promises. Trump plans to get behind a bill being introduced later this summer by Gopsens, Tom Cotton of Arkansas and David Perdue of Georgia that, if signed into law, would, by 2027, slash in half the number of legal immigrants entering the country each year, according to four people familiar with the conversations. Currently, about one million legal immigrants enter the country annually that number would fall to 500,000 over the next decade. The senators have been working closely with Stephen Miller, a senior White House official known for his hawkish stance on immigration. The issue is also a central priority for Steve Bann, the president's chief strategist, who has several promises to limit immigration scribbled on the walls of his office. The forthcoming bill is a revised and expanded version of legislation the two senators unveiled in February, known as the Rays Act, which they discussed with Trump at the White House in March, and which the president praised at the time. Though lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have at least paid lip service to the need to crack down on illegal immigration, reducing legal immigration is more controversial, even among Republicans. It's unclear how the White House could pull off such contentious legislation, given Congress is already bogged down in its attempt to repeal Obamacare and has not yet seriously started on tax reform and an infrastructure package, to other major GOP priorities. Congress must also pass legislation by this fall to avoid a government shutdown and to raise the debt ceiling. Senator Cotton knows that being more deliberate about who we let into our country will raise working class wages, which is why an overwhelming majority of Americans support it. He and Senator Perdue are working with President Trump to fix our immigration system so that instead of undercutting American workers, it will support them and their livelihoods, said Caroline Rabbit, a Cotton spokeswoman. The reintroduction of the bill is likely to mark the beginning of an important battle within the GOP between immigration hawks, now led by Cotton, who will have the backing of the White House, and dovish lawmakers such as Arizona's John McCain and South Carolina's Lindsey Graham. This move by the Trump administration could not come at a better time either. Just last week, DHS Secretary John Kelly made a stunning announcement in a closed-door meeting with Democrat leaders. Kelly stated that the Trump administration would not protect Obama's controversial amnesty program called Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. LifeZet reported that after facing a lawsuit from Texas and nine other states, the Trump administration has made the decision to not defend DACA in court. This move would most likely signal the program's end that had granted amnesty to illegal immigrants brought into the country when they were kids. Now, 
I am sure that liberals are already crawling all over this story crying that we are a nation built on immigration. Well, yes we are, but there is more to it than just that. People who have come to America in the past entered the country legally and assimilated to American culture, and that is a fact. What we are seeing here is not at all immigration, but rather an invasion to change the very fabric of our nation. Barack Obama even said back in 2016 that America was going to be a browner country. Uh, with respect to how we deal with each other, the demographics of the country are going to change. It, it's inevitable. Uh, you know, the Latino community in America is going to grow. If you stopped all immigration today, just by virtue of birth rates, this is going to be a browner country. So, what it comes down to is that in order to preserve our way of life we need to strict a border control. There is nothing racist about closing off our borders and not allowing new immigrants into the country until we get a hold of the issue at hand. The only way that we can preserve our country's uniqueness is by being selective on who can enter. That is not being a racist, but rather safeguarding our future. <laughs>